that's one of me online mathematics we are still on the tutorial on wasi 2024 20, september this is question four on the circle theorem in the diagram p r q and s are the point on a circle t is a point outside the circle such that the angle r t p is 20 degrees and the angle q s r is 30 degrees the length of p q is a diameter p q a diameter we have to calculate the angle q r s q r s this angle here and p q s p q s these two angles so pause the video for a second and see if you can provide answer to this based on the tutorials we have had on the uh, circle geometry. Now, let's see what are some of the properties that I'll be making use of. There are so many ways we can arrive at the answers. So I'm going to try the shortest possible uh, route or route to get to that answer. So since I am looking for this angle, and this angle let me focus on that now let me begin with p q being the diameter that will make the angle p s q this very angle to be 90 degrees so what am i going to do i am going to have the angle p s q p s q to be equals to 90 degrees we have to state the property so the property that we are using is angle subtended by a diameter that gave us 90 degrees so if the whole of that angle is 90 then the angle behind will also be equals to 90 meaning that implies that the angle let's speak it from uh, t s q right t s q will also be equals to 90 degrees that property is going to be the sum of angles on a straight line 90 plus this 90 will give you your 180 degrees all right so now with that i can say that from the triangle let's begin from r s t r s t is a triangle right a line from r s t all the way to r it is forming a triangle so i'll be adding the very angle i am asked to find i'll be having that angle where is it q r s q r s plus this very angle in the corner which is 20 degrees plus the angle 30 plus the 90 you have me there this angle is 90 this is 30 so i'll be having 30 degrees 90 degrees that'll be giving rise to 180 degrees the property so the sum of the interior angles of a triangle so let's go what are we going to do this is 50 so 140, so 140 will go and subtract from that. It means the angle QRS will be equals to 180 degrees here minus 140 degrees this sum. And that will give you 40 degrees. So your first part, therefore, angle QRS will be equals to 40 degrees degrees you can pass any other way to get that answer what are we looking for now we are looking for this angle if you look carefully q s is also a chord right q s is a chord if you look at that chord it is making the angle at p the same chord is making the angle at r so you mean this angle the same as this angles in the same segment we can apply that property also so i can say let's begin with b so what we the 
description. I can have this very angle I know already will be equals to this. So the angle QRS QRS will be equals to the angle SPQ which will also be equals to 40 degrees. What property? So that is angles in the same segment. So this and this are equal. Let's take it from there again from triangle P Q S P Q S is a triangle. What are we looking for? You're looking for this angle. We know this angle. We know this angle. We know here is 60, right? Because we said earlier on the whole of this is what? 90 degrees. So I'll be using the whole of this 90 plus here I found as 40 plus what I'm looking for. So I'll be saying the angle P Q S plus this very angle we found as 90 degrees. 1, 2, 3. This three angle, this is the third angle we found here to be 40. All will give us 180 degrees. Now, what property is that? The sum of the interior angle of a triangle. So we refer to that in there. What will be next? Let's have the angle PQS to be equals to 180 minus. I guess this is going to be 130 degrees, and that will give you 40 degrees. Therefore, the angle PQS will be nothing but what? 50 degrees. And I know there are a lot of properties that can lead us to get the same answer. You can try. There are a lot of properties. You can find here to be 60. That 60 will be equal to here. Because this is also going to be angled in the same segment. You can find here to be 70. Since here is 90 plus 20, 70. This 70 could also be equal to this angle plus 30. The exterior angle equals to the sum of two opposite interior angles. There are several properties that can lead you to the same answer. Try them and be a master of those properties. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.